Hi and welcome to Hacker's Reef. Today I'm going to show you a handy gadget. This is Seachem's Ammonia Alert Badge and it's really useful for protecting your livestock when you have a quarantine tank or a freshly cycled aquarium. Sometimes people get a little confused with the instructions but I'm going to show you how to avoid all that and get the most out of this alert badge. Welcome back to Hacker's Reef. Like I said in the introduction, we're going to be talking about the Ammonia Alert Badge from Seachem. This badge is incredibly helpful when used correctly. But if you check any reviews, you're going to see that there's people complaining that the badge was either incorrectly reading the water in their tank or they verified with a test kit and it gave the completely different readings. I don't work for Seachem. This isn't a sponsored review. And I'm not saying this is a completely infallible product, but sometimes people just overlook some of the steps on the back and that can really get you into trouble and put the lives of your animals at risk if you're not careful. But after you finish this video, you're going to know everything there is about keeping this badge working perfectly and monitoring your ammonia for up to a year in your systems. And make sure that you stick around for the end of the video because I'm going to explain why people are getting so confused and pulling their hair out when they compare this badge to their ammonia test kits and why the results are so confusing. But before we get into that, let's start with the basics about how this badge works, what you need to do, and how simple it actually is to use. First thing we need to do is just open it up and I'm going to struggle with this packaging a bit because you want to make sure you don't damage it. Um, but it never really opens the way you want it to, but eventually you'll get it out there. And now the most important thing you want to look at is don't ever touch that little film in the middle. That is what the sensor part actually is on the badge. Other than the sensor film, all there is is the suction cup that you go ahead and stick to your tank. That's what's going to hold it there. And um, I've had that suction cup on many different badges in many different tanks, and they've all held up very well for me. Now reading the badge is very simple as well. As you can see it has this little color wheel. It starts out as safe where you're not detecting any ammonia and then we go to alert, alarm, and then toxic. Hopefully it'll never go past alert in your system but then again ammonia has a way of creeping up on an uncycled tank so that's why these badges come in really handy. While you could always use your ammonia test kit and do daily tests on your quarantine tank or your freshly cycled tank um, there's always a possibility that you're going to miss out and you could go hours with your fish and they can get gill damage. Very, very bad. That's why I recommend a real-time ammonia monitoring system like this badge because that could be the difference between your animal making it out of quarantine successfully or not making it at all. There's definitely some other options for real-time ammonia monitoring, but for under 10 bucks, you really can't go wrong with the simplicity of just sticking this onto your tank and I like to use them wherever I have a system that could have questionable ammonia levels. Now prepping this is really easy and there's just this protective film that covers the sensor. Because remember the sensor is just in the middle of it, the other stuff is just for color comparison. It's very important that you don't touch the sensor part of the badge once you get this protective film off because the oil from your skin can damage it. Now I'm going to pull this film off nice and easy because if it's stuck on there pretty well if you're not careful, you could damage it, so go really slow, but it comes right off as you can see. I've seen a few reviews where people have actually peeled off the sensor because I guess they kind of just ripped the protective film off like a band-aid. You definitely don't want to do that. Once you've safely removed the film, you're ready to just use it in your tank. But right now, I'm going to show you how to verify that it's working. Uh, if you have any doubts about your badge or if you just want to make sure that it's going to change color correctly, this is the recommended way from Seachem how to do that. All you need is just some simple household cleaner that has ammonia in it. So I'm going to put that down and grab some glass cleaner. Now the badge measures uh, what's called free ammonia, which is the most toxic form of ammonia to your fish and animals. And that's exactly what comes out of the gas from any cleaner that has ammonia in it. So definitely make sure you don't huff the stuff. You don't want to get yourself sick. but you're just going to use the gas to simulate what the ammonia levels would do to trigger this badge. So what I'm going to do is just use the vapors that come out of this bottle when we open it and that's what's going to trigger the badge and show you the response of the sensor film. So give me a second to get this open and then we're just going to take it and put this aside 
Now it's very important if you do this test, you don't want to actually touch the ammonia because we're just looking for the gas that comes out of the top of the bottle. Because if you actually touch the ammonia with the badge, you're going to add the ammonia into your aquarium and you definitely don't want that to happen. And now you can see that it's already starting to change color and we've only had it next to the opening of the bottle and the gas for a couple of seconds. So we can tell that this badge is definitely good. Now in the water of your aquarium, it would take anywhere between 15 minutes or so for it to change color and show you the presence of ammonia, which is pretty good response time. Considering most ammonia test kits have that long of a wait period or more when you're trying to let the color develop. Now we can see that it somewhere between alarm and toxic. Now it's not like fully dark, but that's probably just because it's this is a fresh out of the pack one and it hasn't been treated with the water. I imagine if I sat there and huffed some more fumes at it, it would probably change, but I'm satisfied this one will work. I'll give it another couple of seconds to see what develops, but the color is getting pretty dark anyway, so I don't think there's any problem with the response time on this particular badge. Now remember, these badges actually get more accurate with faster response times the more you soak them in the water that they're testing. That's the reason why I recommend you want to put your badge in before you actually add your livestock to the tank, and that'll give you the best readings with the most protection. But let me put this down for a second so I can cap off this ammonia and get this out of the way. Now one of the last gutcha things with this badge is you're going to see people post about how they're not reliable when they compare the results to a liquid test kit. Now it's definitely possible that there could be a badge that's defective or somehow the film got damaged, but you could have a liquid test kit that goes bad just as well. The reason for these conflicting results is because most liquid test kits actually test for total ammonia whereas the badge tests for free ammonia. Now I know that sounds a little bit confusing and I don't want to overload you with a bunch of technical stuff but basically there's your free ammonia which is your really deadly ammonia to your fish and then there's bound ammonia or ionized ammonia. Products like Prime and Amgard are examples of chemicals that will actually bind your ammonia and make it harmless for a certain period of time in your tank. Now that's really helpful if you can't keep up with the water changes required while your beneficial bacteria is seeding and your tank is cycling. But the real problem is that your liquid test kit most likely unbinds all of the ammonia in the water giving you a greatly inflated reading of what the total ammonia is. So it's important to remember that the bound ammonia in the current state of your aquarium with the chemicals is not toxic to your fish and that's why it doesn't show up as a reading on the badge. It's also very important to read the instructions if you're using some sort of ammonia binding chemical because they only work for a certain period of time before re-releasing that ammonia back into your system as free ammonia. Basically those chemicals are just there to give your bacteria a head start so it can break down the ammonia properly without getting overwhelmed or it buys you some time to do a water change. So that's the number one reason why you're going to see people start with an alert status on a badge and then they're going to use something like again Prime or like an AmGuard to get it back down to the safe levels. But then if you use an ammonia test kit you could read higher than the toxic level and freak out because you're actually reading the bound ammonia as free ammonia because your test kit nullified the effect of the product you use to bind all that ammonia. That would normally cause people to panic and do a bunch of water changes which slows down the bacteria from colonizing in your tank and prolonging the cycling process and just really making everything generally worse. So in conclusion just understand that sometimes knowing your total ammonia can be useful but just don't go by that and use that as a reason to do preemptive maintenance for a problem that doesn't exist. And the other thing that you might have noticed is that the film color is still the same and now where it went down but it hasn't returned back to safe even though there's no more ammonia gas. That's because it can take up to four hours for the uh, film to go back down to the safe color. So just keep that in mind that it can take 15 minutes or so to detect the free ammonia but to tell you that the free ammonia level is back to the safe level, it can take up to four hours. So if you're doing water changes or adding chemicals, make sure you don't keep adding them just thinking it's not working. Just give it a little bit of time, 
and you should be okay. When used correctly, I find these badges extremely helpful and I like to use them in my quarantine tanks and my copepod culture tanks as well. Leave a comment below and let us know where you plan on using one of these ammonia alert badges. Or maybe if you've used one before and had some of that test kit confusion I was talking about before. Either way, I hope you found this video helpful and maybe one of these badges can help you when you're trying to quarantine a new fish or when you're cycling a new tank. These product reviews from my workbench are a new thing, so if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so because you don't want to miss out on other great videos with more product reviews and guides that will help you out. As always, links to all the products that we use and talk about are in the description, so check that out too.